wasn't until I came out of work. I was walking towards my car. The note, and when I read it, I right away. <laughs> to another video today what I have is something a little bit different today I'll be saying a story time I've actually been wanting to do a story time for the longest but honestly um maybe that was not interesting but as I was telling I think it was my sister that I've been wanting to do this I came up with this idea I'm like I should really see the story time because this is kind of um interesting I keep on watching si quieren saber lo que pasó al final de esta novela alright where should I start with this Bueno pues, this all started with this guy, of course. I'm kind of nervous porque que tal si lo mira, because I know he didn't knew that I have a YouTube channel, so if you're watching this, in respect on this this guy's privacy, um, I'm gonna have to rename him another name porque se ha venido like his mom, so you know. We're gonna name him John porque, no sé, pero le vamos a llamar John. It all started with this John guy, right? So I'm mentioning this John guy because this John guy has a lot to do with the story of what happened. So I was talking to this John guy for about two or three weeks, right? Um, I'm not gonna get a lot into detail. You know, we were talking like normally, you know, talking every day, you know, the good morning text, blah blah blah. And all of a sudden he just stopped talking to me. I felt the reason he stopped talking to me because he thought I was like talking to other guys. Because okay, so this is what happened. We were talking normally, right? And then Somehow, uh, you know, you forget to text people back. Like in my mind, I thought I was messaging back, but apparently I didn't. It was until like I uploaded a story on my Instagram, and then you know I just went like that, check who saw it, and I realized he was the first one who saw it. And that's when I'm like, oh, let me reply back. And then I replied back, and all he did was like thumbs up my message, and he never spoke to me again. And I was just like, okay. And I right away I was like. Most likely he has other girls. Either that or he thinks I'm ignoring him because of my story. Because after that story, he just stopped talking to me. So I was just like, mm, whatever. Between those two or three weeks that we spoke in, we actually just hung out once. When we hung out, obviously he came to pick me up. So that's how, you know, he knew where I lived and all that, you know? So keep that in mind, he knew where I lived. So this is where everything escalator right okay so you know the guy stopped talking to me it wasn't until this one day after he stopped talking to me he ran them i was at i was actually with my sister i was in target when he texts me and he's all like hey how are you and i was just like okay so you think you want to message me whenever you want so and then i was like whatever i'm not gonna reply whatever i'm not gonna reply you know i'm not gonna reply i'm not gonna reply it wasn't until i got home and as soon as I was going inside my house, there's a box, right? And you know, when there's packages, you wanna know what it is, right? So I looked at the package and it, it right away didn't look like it was like the, a delivered package. It was just a box with my name saying to Nayeli Hernandez. And then right away I was like, what the, what is this? When I looked down and I saw the package, I was like, I wonder what the heck is this? I, I right away went inside my house and opened it quick because actually I was leaving to work. I was in a rush to go to work. So when I opened it, it was this bottle, which I don't know if to show. I still low-key have it because I actually really like the bottle. Okay, whatever. I'm going to show it. Hold on. All right, so in the box that he sent me, there was this bottle. Actually customized. Look it. Be said. And then it says my name and it has my YouTube logo. I, I read it more like, this is a beautiful bottle. Yeah, that bottle was inside the box. So when I opened it, I right away kind of figured, ah, oh, it's this, it's this. But then that's when I replied. Actually, that's when I replied because I, I never replied to his message. But then when I saw that box in my house, I, I replied right away. I was I just replied casually, like nothing. I was just like, hey, good, how are you, you know? I didn't want to bring out the box because, you know, I wanted him to tell me. And then he messaged me back saying that, good, whatever. Did you get a box by any chance? And I was just like, I knew it! Sabia que did. But then I was like, ¿Por qué me mandó un regalo? Or why? So out of nowhere, after he stopped talking to me, all of a sudden he just leaves a gift in my door. Then I just replied, oh yeah, that was you. Oh, thank you. It's a nice bottle, blah, blah, blah. And then this guy. 
replies with I don't have the messages but this is like más o menos lo que dijo he's like oh yeah I just wanted to leave you a gift because you know if this was supposed to be your birthday gift but I kind of figured we're not gonna talk anymore so I was just like let me just drop it off at her house okay my birthday faltaba like a couple weeks but que sea and I was like when why are you saying we're not gonna talk anymore like no entiendo at first I'm like okay does he have someone else or what okay so I, that's what I was thinking but then I'm like does this guy really think I have like I'm talking to other guys like Honestly, like, my phone, my phone be dry. So, when I, he's like, we're not gonna talk about it? I just completely ignore that. So I was just like, oh, thank you, whatever. So then, I left to work, you know? Ya después de eso, me fui a work. Ya no le respondí. Oh, actually, on my break, ya le respondí hasta mi break. He asked me if I was at work. And I was just like, yeah. Or I don't know if I told him, but... But he knew I was at work. He asked me if I closed, I think, that night. So it wasn't until I came out of work... And I was walking towards my car, you know, typical me being all happy because I get super happy when I get out of work. I'm so happy. You know, I get inside my car and I see like una nota and my windshield. But then I was just like, mm, probably those son that they're promoting, you know. So I kind of didn't try to grab it. But then it kind of did look weird. It looked like not like different. It's weird. Right away when I stepped inside my car and I saw a note, then it started to rain. And I was just like, okay, all of a sudden the sky decided to rain. So when it started to rain, you know, you open your thoughts. Los parabrisas things. As soon as I went like that, it on a note, they on a notebook. And then I was like, wait, 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 wait. ¿Qué es esto? And when I grabbed it, ya estaba mojada, so it was like kind of hard to read. The note, I actually, I probably still have a picture of it. I'll probably put it right here. And when I read it, it says something like, te mirabas bien bonita en la caja, espero que te guste el regalo. Something like that. I right away freaked out. I looked around because when I come out of work, the parking lot is kind of pretty much empty. So I looked around and I was like, is he looking at me right now? Well, obviously because he gave me a gift. Who else? He asked if I was working, if I closed. Right there, I'm like, it has to be him. That seemed creepy. He didn't know how my car looked. So I'm like, no, it can't be him. It can't be him. It has to be someone else. But who can it be? Who can it be? When we went out, uh, he, he did ask me if I had a car and I just told him, oh yeah, I have an old car. So I'm like, what if he kind of figured like, okay, this is the oldest car of all of them. Let me leave the note there. That was my mentality at the moment. I was like scared after coming out because I actually had a stock back in high school that like I still traumatized to this day. I was like, no, not another stalker, please. Not another stalker. That was what was going in my mind the whole time. Once I posted the note on my story, like I kept on getting multiple like a decent 15 people telling me oh that's scary be careful blah 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 that was getting even more freaked out like should i really worry should i really move out of state or something should i go to mexico or something like then i was just i looked around and see if there was someone like in a car or something looking at me because i felt like someone was looking at me so i just drove off and i literally went like oh, locked my doors and like went fast and then when i got home I went to, up to my sister and told her the whole story and she was like what did that really happen to you and right away what I decided to do I was like I have to tell this guy like did you really left the note in my car and as soon as he said hey you left the note in my car he, this guy replied with no I didn't at the same time I was like what and at the same time I was mad I'm like who else would have been like I thought maybe it might be my sister but my sister was at work like she was at work like i thought of my friends like no Mireya, i don't think Mireya will drive all the way over here just to leave a no like there is no one else it could have been you know he he was all confused like wait 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 let me call you you know let me call you and i was like i was already like oh what kind of bullshit is he gonna come over so this is what happened he calls me right he calls me and he's all like no that wasn't me i swear it wasn't me and i was like kind of getting mad like who could have been and he's all like you know what? I've been wanting to ask you this for the longest. How, with how many guys are you talking to? I right away was like, did this guy really just left the note in my windshield? Like, stop talking to me because he thought I was talking to all these guys? Like, did he really did the note just to find out how many guys I'm talking to? Like, that was my mentality. I'm like, he left the note in my car to find out how many guys I'm talking to. Really? I was just like... I didn't want to answer that. Obviously, I wasn't talking to anyone because how I mentioned, my phone stayed dry. 
I was just like shook. I'm like, I'm not gonna be telling you like, oh, no one, but I don't want to tell you I am. I just can't believe he did all this just to find out how many guys I'm talking to. So obviously it kind of all made sense, right? Are you guys with me, right? It made sense that it was him. And I told my friends, they're like, yeah, it made sense it was him. Like everything like puzzles up that it was him. After that, I was just being dry on the call because I was pissed. I was mad. He kept on denying. He kept on saying, it wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. Like, all I'm saying is, like, I want to know how many guys you're talking to because I'm trying to help you figure out who left the note in your car. He's like, I don't even know how your car looks. At some point, I was believing him. I'm like, yeah, it's not him. Who could it be? And I was thinking, it's my stalker from high school. I was already thinking, like, freaking out. I was already freaking out. Like, I cannot even go to work without thinking, who the left this no and i was just being dry because i got mad not really the question how many guys i'm talking to because i've only spoken to a guy two weeks two weeks so he could be doing all this you know so after the call i was just being dry because at the time i was mostly mad that he was denying it because i was like for sure it was him so that's why i was being all dry or whatever and it's funny i had my messenger on while i had him on the phone and then as soon as he hung up or whatever, and I looked down because, you know, I'm about to hang up. And then on my messages, he was like the first one there. It said, mutual friends. And I was just like, did this guy really delete me? And I checked his profile. Not even one second we're done with the call, he deleted me. And then Instagram, he unfollowed me right away. And I was just like, I was just like, you know what? Okay, I guess he forgot about me. That's good because I don't have a stalker anymore. So that's better for me That's how the situation ended with this guy. Like we never spoke again. It was just like Just like that Not serious what actually happened you guys are waiting on to know who left the note, right? One two three my sister you might be asking how if she was working how i said well if you guys seen my previous video i had a surprise party right right so she lied to me that she was going to work because she was gonna buy the stuff for my party and that day it turns out that she was right next to my job so she wanted to play this little joke she told me until the day of my party like literally she gave me the surprise, and then after that, she came up to me, she said, Hey, remember that note that was in your car? I left that note, and I was just like, really? I was like shook, I'm like, oh no, oh no. So I just blamed that poor guy and all that, like, for nothing. Yo Sally, por qué me haces esto? Also, Mireya, she messaged me saying, oh no that's scary when she was part of it like they all kept it a secret they all kept it a secret they were gonna throw a surprise party and they all kept it a secret that they pranked me on that no so yeah turns out i never had a soccer thank god it was my sister all this time i don't know how she kept the secret of that she threw me a party and kept the secret of hurling me in the note because that's big <laughs>